Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Uh, I want to show you this outfit, not because I think it's real successful, but it illustrates some of the issues you're going to find uh, with more complicated outfits. First of all, you have to remember Daz is strictly a program for stills. Really, that's all it is. Uh, so even though they have D-Force and some things for conforming things, for animation, it just doesn't work well. And that's why we have iClone, of course. So a lot of the outfits you'll find are pretty complicated. And this guy was asking me, asking me specifically about the cape. So I want to show you the cape here for this outfit and the weight map that I used. And it's a very simple weight map. As a matter of fact, if we go into the UVs, so you can see what the UV looks like for this. You'll see how I drew this black down here, and then it's mostly white down on the side. So what that is, is I just, I just went down here and just kind of kind of did something like that. Basically, that's it. Just created that map. And that map turns out to work pretty good inside. And also, I, that's the physics part of the map. And the other thing we talk about, and it's confusing that there are two different ways, is the skin weights. The skin weights have nothing to do with the physic weights. The skin weights are, are how the uh, clothing item is deformed by the bones. So you do want to have some skin weights, for, but for an, a cloak item like this, it's really all about the physics settings. Uh, and so the other thing we want to do is we have another piece of clothing, this cloth item, this overcoat. And for this skin weight, I, I weighted this. Whoops, don't want to go there. I don't want to edit the weights specifically. Uh, for this one, I just transferred it over as a, a, a dress, okay? Applied it as a dress. Now, you're going to see the, the pros and cons of doing something like this. When you do it this way, and we're going to go ahead, and then we're going to go, yes, make sure he's all selected. Then we're going to go ahead and just send him into iClone. And I'll show you the, the, the things that happen with this. The, the guy that asked about this was more concerned about the cloak, and the cloak works really good with this, but... This other piece of, uh, I don't in general believe in dressing men in skirts. Uh, the, the other piece of this doesn't work as well as we would like. Okay, so we're in by frame. We always want to make sure that with the whole guy selected that we go here, we make sure we have collision shapes. I've showed this before. We always want to load in Christian shapes, so make sure you do that. Uh, have that turn on active, so we have collision shapes, Christian shapes. We have physics on for the cape, so if we go to the cape here... In the scene, go here to, ah, come on, to the uh, cape is here somewhere there, cape. And go to modify, go to physics, we have physics on. I think I just made the, the linen settings as the settings. And then we go ahead and run this, and you'll watch the cape. Just look at the cape now for the moment. I want to just talk about, just show you how well the cape works with just that simple map. Looks pretty good. That's, that's about how that cape should move. Um, might want to adjust. There's a little bit of collision there, so you might want to adjust the collision shapes just a little. But other than that, cape works pretty good. Okay, so now let's talk about this <laughs> skirt this guy is wearing. Now, you'll notice that if this was an actual piece of cloth that the skirt this guy was wearing, as he moves his legs here, this would move a little different than this. This is being deformed strictly by the bones in those legs. Now, it looks okay. It's actually not bad. Until a little bit of collision, we can always adjust that. But look at this. Let's stop that there. You see how the cloth conforms right to there? Well, in reality, if this was cloth, we'd want this to drape down. And that's a real problem. If we try to put a physics map, then we're going to have two physics items colliding with each other. All kinds of issues. If... If somebody put a gun to my head and said, I have to have this outfit and I want it to look at least a little better, I think what I would do is take the, um, the bone that's influencing these vertices here and take away all of that influence so that it would just kind of drape down a little bit that way. It would still look a little weird, but it would be a little better. So um, that's, that's really what we have when we have multi-layers here. I, I would generally advise you to stay away from layering items that have to flow like this. They're just never going to look really good in iClone. Um, but you can get away with one or two, and that's why you don't see a lot of these layers of clothing items that move around very well. 
uh, because as soon as you do that, you get intersections. And there are some settings in physics. You can go down here and do self-collision. You can do some uh, margins and run that up a little bit better, maybe get a little bit better with the cape. You'll notice now it's doing a lot more computations. And this is okay if it looks like this, because when you actually render it, it's not going to jitter like that so much. But yeah, see, I don't like that at all, actually. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep the self-collision on. Don't need to worry about that. So anyway, um, anyway, that's that's it. I just wanted to show that this is he was more concerned about the cape. Cape's easy. It's this damn skirt that's uh, a little bit of a problem, but you know it's acceptable and um, I think it's workable for this particular item. But as I always say on the forums, if there's any particular clothing item that you have a question about before you buy it, just ask me and I'll be glad to tell you how well it works and even even show you. So. See you on the forums.